thought that was obviously a good win for us tonight. Um, Hampton, I thought, played really, really hard, especially in the first half. Uh, they had nine offensive rebounds in the first half, which was a huge concern for us. Uh, we held them to three in the second half, which was great. Uh, Merrill's a really tough cover, and I thought we did a good job. I mean, he got 30, but it, it took him 29 shots. So I thought the um, the, it, the inefficiency, I guess, was <laughs> was good for us. And um, you know, Thornton hit a couple of big threes in the second half when we needed to, needed some offense. Andy and Nate kind of took us home, and uh, Bryce clearly played a, a phenomenal game from start to finish for us um, on the offensive end, but also on, on defense. So um, happy with the happy with the result tonight. Uh, plenty of things to clean up, and we'll get ready to go back on the road. So the biggest thing we just talked about was the effort. Um, I thought that they were, I thought they were sending guys, and we had guys standing around watching. Um, and the only technical thing we talked about was that a lot of the shots they were getting, when they take close shots, they're going to be close rebounds. You know, and we talk about the difference between when teams are shooting threes, and they're going to be the long rebounds. You got to stay out there a little bit and chase those ones. They had a lot that were around the basket, and we were just kind of standing watching. And, and I think that our guys did a, obviously did a better job of that in the second half. I thought the biggest thing we did was we took care of the ball. Um, I thought that there were a couple of times where it was, you know, look, we could push this out, we could push it out. And I thought we either took a tough shot, a, not a great shot, or turned it over and allowed them to get an easy one back the other way. Um, and I thought when we finally pushed it out, you know, we just took the shots that we want to take, and, and that allowed us to set our defense. And, um, you know, I thought when we felt if we could keep in the half court that we'd be able to guard them enough to, uh, to get the win, and, and we were able to do that. Yeah, just going into the game in general, I mean. Yeah, yeah. So our, our um, you know, the, the the thing that we talk about in our program a lot is it's every day is a chance for us to get better, and today just happens to be through competition. And um, tonight, our our keys going in were keeping him out of transition, uh, a team effort on Marrow, and and making him, you know, hopefully shoot a lot to get his numbers, <laughs> um, and then and then the rebounding. I mean, those were the three big keys defensively, and um, like I said, I, other than. Um, the rebounding in the first half, I thought we were we were pretty decent with that stuff. Um, I think offensively, we uh, we played with a little. We the, the excitement of playing at home, I think, got to us a little bit, and I think that every guy, you know, kind of wanted to make the play and and wanted to make the big play to kind of get the crowd going. And you know, we said afterwards to say that guys, that's a great thing to have that excitement because it means you guys want to play together and you want to play in front of your home fans. But we just need to learn to channel that and. Sometimes you just got to go through it to, you know, to, to be able to handle that. It seemed like Ben Stanley uh, for them is not terribly tall, but he's thick and, and athletic. And it seemed like that that was giving Nate a little bit of trouble. Um, was that true? Yeah, he did. You know, he's um, – it, sometimes it's harder to cut, you know, to cover a guy that's six six or six seven because um, he can get angles on you. Um, he was very left hand dominant, and I thought that Nate got caught a couple of times going, going for a shot fake to his right to let him spin back to his left. Um, he got caught a couple of times uh, with like a you know, just the drive to the left and kind of fake pivot back and then get back to that left hand. He bumped him a couple of times. So yeah, I think there's a little bit we can work out with Nate in terms of the technique to just keep the guy in front of him. Um, you know, we always talk about just making guys earn baskets and, and taking away easy ones. Uh, and I did think that he got a couple more easy ones than we should have given up. And that's something that we'll, you know, have to address going forward. Yeah, um, I thought he played well tonight. <laughs> so, you know, like you said, he obviously got off to a great start offensively for us. Um, he had 17 in the first half, and he was 7-7 seven seven from the field. Um, and, you know, the other thing was he had seven assists to two turnovers. I mean, that's a, that's a great 
assist to turnover ratio for you know for a point guard obviously um, and then late in the game you know he was on Merrill a lot and I thought did as good a job as anybody um, I thought there were a couple of tough calls that that he got and that Luke got uh, got as he was driving to the basket but um, that's that's a pretty darn complete game by Bryce and, and it was so certainly needed tonight. Yeah, I would think that they're going to come from the guys that played. You know, um, uh, Miguel came off a game where he had 12, you know, down at Wofford. Um, Tyler scored for us. Quinn scored for us. Reiners has scored for us. Um, I think the bulk of the scoring is, is, is certainly going to come from, you know, from the starters. But um, I, I'm, I'm not overly concerned with, you know, the – you know, over whatever that is, eight performance from the bench. I, I think that over time, those guys are going to make you know get those shots to fall. And I thought that they all took, you know, good shots. And as long as they're taking good shots, they're going to go in more often than not.